What is going on? I'm Zedmod. This is Warships Wednesday. As opposed to Warships Tuesday or Thursday, we've got Creator Boost Zedmod in every single Supercell option. We're going to jump into Warships and I'm going to show you two drastically, drastically, drastically different Warships. This one is the slow, boring, grind people down. We have got every single possible defensive building damage it is so so grindy we have no offense we can't use kavan or flares or rocket choppers or shocks or seekers or brick it is just straight up defensive grossness we've got max level rocket launchers we've got that extra shock launcher moving towards that 200 percent building damage and it is just so 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 grindy now my previous attacks, I only had three rocket launchers, only had 100% building damage, as you can see here. Haven't quite made 20 on this account, and collecting chests is so, so ugly. It takes me between four and eight attacks to just get that chest. There will be an offensive account after this, don't get me wrong. Don't fall asleep here. Uh, probably... On many of these attacks, I could just retreat and still win. It's a strategy. And the great thing about Season 60 is there are all sorts of different options, whether it be people using Seekers or Heavy Choppa, Rocket Choppa, which is most people, um, or this defensive crazy mindset. These negative nodes have really, really, really set up for interesting tech trees. Now, for me, this season it is all about, or for right now anyways, it is all about picking which engine room I can get easiest. Uh, because we don't have flares or any offensive goodness, I am really just sticking to try to get one engine room. And if we get two engine rooms, it's a bonus. So I am going to get rid of this person's critter launchers. That is going to be my first focus because those things slow up my already slow troops way, way, way too much. We are going to go uh, Zooka Zooka rifle in the middle and that rifle should in theory distract things fairly well. You getting up in there and then Again, just so, so, so painfully slow here. Getting a bunch of those rifles out front so that our heavy choppa can come in and spit out some of those wonderful, wonderful heavies. Uh, it is all about the drop. This is similar to EDM in that sense. Sorry, that was But um, anyways, getting those troops out, trying our darndest to get some engine rooms. If you came here for strategies of how to use your attacks and how to attack without flare, these are very, 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 couple more varies, vanilla attacks. There is nothing super fun or sexy or interesting about these attacks, but we might just, if we get a couple Zookas there, get two engine rooms, which in theory should be enough to finish off this opponent. People will very much clear this base, don't get me wrong. Look at that, we got two engine rooms, huzzah! Our opponent has also gotten two, but because we did that awful, 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 awful saving exercise to get- Oh, they got an extra one! No, this is almost certainly gonna be us picking up the L. Let's see what our opponent's doing. What do you got for us, General Freeze? I faced General Freeze so many times in a season, it is crazy. And their boosts, uh, they have got 100% troop damage, 50% troop health with that 50% GBE. When you compare those to ours over here, negative 30% troop health. Mr. General Freeze coming in, getting that engine room down. They are not going to get all of ours, but simply because of the fact that I don't have any offensive tools, we are going to pick up the L on this one. Sad, sad, sad moment. Um, but hopefully that can give you some inspiration as far as making your choices offensive. You're going to have more fun. You're probably also going to pick up wins a little bit easier. So at the and by the way, there is more defensive building health after seven engine rooms, but I don't know if I have the guts to go there. Now this person 
has a more balanced approach. By the way, diamonds this season to change nodes, so, 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 so expensive. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's go uh, Zuka, Zuka rifle, Zuka heavy, sounds like a song. Nikki Nikki Hi, Nikki Hi, Hi Ni Ho, whatever that song is. Uh, Zuka Zuka, you guys must know that song, maybe? I, I don't even know what that's from, but I it brings a bell from something. Lots of Zukas, lots of heavy choppers out front. By the way, I dropped my Zukas in the wrong spot. That's why we're losing so many gosh darn Zukas. I meant to go Zuka Zuka Rifle. I went Zuka Rifle Zuka, which uh, did not work out at all. We're gonna get rid of you and you. And we should still have some GBE to finish off that Critter Launcher because Critter Launchers are my nemesis this season. On these slow grindy bases, they just delay your troops enough that those mortars and machine guns and Critter Launchers just wreck you. So we are going to get an engine room, maybe a couple. There might be a couple small tweaks I can make to these attacks, but overall... Uh, it's just super, super, super grindy, super, super, super boring, and it works to an extent, but I kind of love the fact that it doesn't work as well as it has in other seasons. It just shows that these negative nodes giving all sorts of options for the offensive players to make the offensive metas work, and if you know anything about my boom beaching, I do love me some offense. I try and run two different tech trees every season just so that you guys can get all of the value out of it. Also because one of them ends up working and that way I don't have to do a mix mash. But uh, as you see here, this opponent was slow getting that engine room down. Let's see what Damp Dampe has to say coming in and I don't think they're going to get any more engine rooms. The fact they don't have any Zookas back there, I think they were just heavy chopper Russian. We should have picked up the win on this one as all of our shock blasters and sh shock launchers and rocket launchers and critter launchers and all of the rest of it ruin his day. Sorry, Damp. Dampe, not sure how you say your name, but uh, this is one of those things where just defensive, defensive grind. I think we're going to end up getting more of those type of players than the players that are going to clear, but uh, not entirely sure at the second. Now before we go away, I wanted to talk about that quick, like saving for seven engine rooms was so painful. You had to save like 157 keys or something like that just to get to rocket launchers and it sucked. Now troop health might help me a little bit. But let's be honest, it's not going to get these attacks to be magical because it's just not a thing. Uh, these guys, Laser Rangers, might be fun against clump bases, but against those spread bases, going to be useless, especially without Kavon. And if I want to go to that building health, we're looking at 165 plus 40, so 100 and 205 plus another 26. So that's what, 231 keys at gold. That is 11 chests 12 chests like that is insane that is what four days worth of saving not fun so probably need to get up into diamond but even then it's like 10 chests or 11 chests instead of yeah just gross 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 obviously collecting in gold not a big deal and they did change those so that it's not a huge jump between the two which is appreciated at the moment but my goodness gracious i don't know if i have it in me um we'll just switch gears into the goodness now clearly this has fewer things uh we have 50 percent building health yes uh if i could click on that there we go and then we only have 30% building damage, not going to make anyone fizzle. 80% troop damage, 50% troop health would really, really benefit by one more troop damage node, which I don't even know where that would be. I uh, need to do some looking at my negative boosts most definitely right there, for example. Maybe getting rid of some GBE for some troop damage would help, but... Not going to do that at the second. You'll also notice I've got this other negative node getting rid of a mortar. Don't really care about that. But we are going to get rocking and rolling. You'll notice some very obvious gaps in these defenses. Uh, that is because I am missing critter launchers. Uh, critter launchers don't do much against rocket choppers, but they definitely slow down those heavy choppers by 
targeting the heavies. I also don't have that laser and or shock blaster. Let's talk less about what I don't have and more about what I do have. I do have shocks, so we should in theory be able to do good, good things. We are gonna get uh, one, uh, two, three, and then over here, over here, getting our heavy choppas and rocket choppas out, using our barrage on that right there. Let's get one shock out here. Typically would use shocks on the edges to try and keep our rocket choppas alive, but on this one, the entire thing is an edge, so we're just gonna watch that boom cannon until it turns, and then getting that shock out really 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 don't care about our heavy choppas just want to do all of our gbe towards keeping our rocket choppas alive which we've done a decent job of and now we can get over into here ignore the rest of the defenses and then slowly but surely get that shock out over on that side maybe slightly early on that one getting our heavy choppas and our heavies moving towards that right hand side because that left hand side does not worry us at all just letting those heavy choppas get shot have not yet lost a rocket chopper which is a bigger deal need a little bit of speed here though no uh, critter launchers means we need to go a little bit faster than our opponent possibly could getting those flares out getting those kamikazes going and then onto that final final engine room throwing out some barrage we are going to be around 229 did did tick over so 228 decent time not super duper quick but should in theory beat a bunch of players yeah to see there we go they were at they were very close but we picked up the win that is because of our rank. Two accounts, not great for your rank, especially when you focus on neither of them. Uh, this one is at its lowest point though, was almost at 19 as you can see by those star counts down there. So much more fun, so much more about timing and on the defensive side there's you're sure there's a little bit of timing about when you drop your troops as you saw me screwing it up but overall it's more about getting stuff out and getting those defensive stops so defense does win championships but offense so much more fun those heavies are going to get out we've got nothing needed to be shocked at the second let's get rid of that doom cannon back there because it's gonna deal too much damage to our heavy choppas shocking that cluster back there because sometimes those left hand side rocket choppas will peek out a little bit too much let's get rid of that boom cannon because it is off to the side and i don't like things that are off to the side even though our rocket choppas are off to the left that right hand side does worry me a little teeny tiny bit so far so good this attack has gone smoothly it's not exactly super duper quick but we're still making very 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 good progress i am going to keep our shocks coming out and then we're just going to get that final kamikaze flare out onto that engine room throwing out the barrage and we are going to be at two minutes and 50 seconds two minutes 50 seconds pretty gosh darn quick and i find myself on the defensive side uh, looking at our opponent's boosts a lot lot more on the offensive side i am not paying much attention and we are going to lose even with a 250 so you notice they've got 150 percent troop damage now that i am very very envious of as you saw there they crushed through our base and this video about if you take nothing else away from, uh, just shows that the different boosts and how you use those negative nodes and where you apply your offensive boosts making a massive difference this season. More than any other season that I can recall, and I definitely could have gone faster there. Um, if I would have paid a little bit more attention to my opponent's boosts, I would have gone a little bit faster. So let's do that now. This person, again, with that 150% troop damage boost, I am tempted. You know what? Let's try this. I have not done this yet, but we'll give it a go. 
I am gonna get you two out there, you guys all on this left hand side, and we are gonna use our GBE on those right hand side defenses, simply because our left hand side should be all good. Just wanna make sure that those right hand side things don't get us, get that shock out. Shock was too late, so. Yes, we went ahead and got more rocket choppers, and then we went and ignored them and ended up losing one early. And when you lose a rocket chopper, it is so detrimental that it is crazy. We have lost one-sixth of our damage. What is that? 18% or something like that? Not shocking that boom cannon intentionally because don't need to because we had the timing decently down, but now we're just gonna get all of our troops going. Need to get onto those engine rooms as fast as we can because as you saw there, our opponent is going to be very, very quick. Need to get one more shock out and just hope that some of our rocket choppers make it onto that engine room as our heavies cruise through and we're gonna be at 249. Decent. Uh, anytime you can get around 250, you're gonna do fairly well, and it's crazy. I mean, the fact we've got to us at 230 something, 250, and 249 versus one or two engine rooms. Such a different season across multiple accounts. We're gonna end this video on the dub, picking up the win, much like the Canucks last night, clinching the Pacific. Division super stoked on that playoff hockey coming to Vancouver. I won't be attending any games 99% but uh, do enjoy watching it on the tube uh, as far as where to send my chests Likely gonna go to war a bunch of people with the laser I need to ask more about the laser the shock blaster screams better defense to me But seeing people with that laser I need to figure out why that is especially against maybe because it's they're taking out rocket choppers potentially um, but Critter Launcher is also on that list. So lots of good things this season and just know that all of the boom tubers are petitioning to reduce the diamond costs. The fact that like no one is switching. I would love to see more people switching more often in the season and maybe that's cutting those diamond costs in half. My idea that I came up with is in the boom pass, those rewards give out just like we get those building tokens, like how many build tokens do we get in a season? I think three, let's see here. We got one, we got two, and we've got three, three, four build tokens in the season. I would like to see a node swap token. That would add value to the boom pass. It would also make it so that those swaps would not be so expensive. Let me know what you think about that idea if you watched all the way to the end. Lots of warships goodness. I am Zedmot. That of course as we've already talked about is Zedmot over in that creator boost and every single supercell goodness. I shall talk to you soon. Lots of stuff covered. Two different tech trees and I don't think they could be any more different. But uh, do let me know in the comments where I've gone wrong in my negative nodes, where I can make changes, and how this helped or impacted you. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Zedmont. Thanks for coming in. Peace.